Welcome to another Silicon Slopes conversation. I am Brooke Graham, and we are lucky enough today to be joined by CEO of New Skin, Rich Wood. Okay, and we all know the name New Skin. You guys have been around for decades, and somehow you still stay relevant. So how, how does that work, and how do you guys do you have a whole team that works on that? Yeah, it really starts with building a great team. So we had founders who established a foundation that was built on principles that just work. So helping other people be successful. And then when you're successful, you get back to the, the community and get involved in good, good practices. And, and those are just good long-term business uh, principles that always work. I would say this, the, the commitment to the company around science and around products has probably been the, the most, <clears throat> sort of the most important factor that allows us to continue to grow. Diving deeper into the tech aspect of New Skin, do you guys have a tech team or how does that work and what are they working on right now? I would say five years ago we had a tech team. Today, Every single person in our company better be tech or else we don't anticipate we're going to continue to really adapt as fast as we need to. We grow based on three different P's, a platform, a product, and a program. And, and that P that's platform is technology and it weaves itself through every piece of our organization. So the ability to touch customers with technology has dramatically changed over the last five to ten years. And, and being able to embrace that, make it really, really simple for our sales leaders is just really key for our growth. I think the um, critical piece for me is just to make sure we keep the vision really clear of where we're going. Um, you can be somewhat patient with the details if you know your vision is correct and you're moving in the right direction. And I think as a management team, we're really aligned around what that vision is. So it gives us the courage to continue to fight through some of the difficult details. Okay, and now we want to know what is the vision? <laughs> The vision is really clear. We want to be the world's leading business opportunity platform. Um, what does that mean? It means we provide opportunity to all. Uh, our mission is to be a force for good in the world. And how do we do that? We do it through our people, our products, and then a culture that allows people when they do come and become part of New Skin, whether they're a customer or a sales leader, they get a chance to participate in opportunities where we reach out and help the less fortunate. And so uh, there's a lot of different ways for us to participate in the company and feel good about what we're doing. But the mission is simply to, to, to make a difference in the world. You guys may already know this, but I found it astounding. They actually have a team of 75 in-house scientists. So I knew, as I think all of us do, New Skin is a large company. You've been around for a long time. You probably have a bigger team. I was thinking maybe five scientists, but you have 75 in-house scientists. How does that affect New Skin, having that really large focus on actual science? It's a commitment we made a long time ago that we've really stayed true to. And uh, I think science was maybe the technology before we understood technology, but it was really looking beyond just what the product did on the, on the outside to really try and understand how it impacts your body. And can we create a product that actually makes life better for people? And that was our commitment from the very beginning. Those 75 scientists are not just located here in Utah. They're located in China. They're located around the world so that we can uh, truly develop a global product offering and not just one that applies here in the U.S. We're really proud of an award that we just received uh, earlier this year. <clears throat> we were ranked by Euromonitor as the number one at-home beauty device system brand. So we started investing three years ago or so in an indoor grow technology. Those are the kind of investments that NuSkin has constantly made, trying to see where the future's going to go and then pick areas where we can differentiate in. We are in 50 countries. There are others that we need to get into. They're not all, we're not in India, we're not in Brazil. Those are the two big ones that are complicated, but we look forward to being in and someday. So we'll continue to expand in that area. And then I would mention one other thing. We are really focused on sustainability. Uh, we have done a massive transformation with our IT group, but that is really a focus around the whole company transformation led by IT. So we started by hiring a chief transformation officer. 
So we wanted to send the message to our organization that we will be in transformation. It's not comfortable, but at the end of the day, it's what we need to do to compete. When we're 35 years old, uh, we, we could enjoy 35 years, and we should, but at the same time, if we're not preparing for the future, we're going to have a rough time uh, continuing to grow and develop. So uh, we actually hired a chief transformation officer to help us send the message and develop um, to be more of a customer-focused organization. Start in IT and now is moving throughout all of, our, all of our organization. Almost a year ago, I guess at Silicon Slopes, we invited a number of CEOs of local businesses and others to come down and actually see the technology. This was about a year ago. It's amazing how we've continued to receive calls from several of those saying, is there a way I can invest in this technology that we believe is someday going to feed people all over the world? So. Um, I, I believe there's a, w w as, as a company, as a leadership team, we invest in a number of different initiatives, all with the focus of driving our core business. If we don't drive the core business, we don't invest in it. It's really making sure we're always focused on understanding clearly what's driving the core and what at some point in time could become a distraction or won't receive, reach its potential if we don't give, give it the right path to run on. Thank you all. Let's give him a round of applause.